Hey guys, welcome to yellowdingy.com. It's Mario, and I am looking at Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11, and I'm playing it on the 360, but it's available on other systems as well. So I played a lot of Tiger Woods when it was Tiger Woods uh, 9 and 10. Um, I'm just sort of playing here at Pebble Beach, and I'm just going to jump right into it here. I'm doing the back nine at Pebble Beach. So I'm using the three-click system, which they have, which is really nice. You can also do the swing system, just like before, uh, with the left joystick and the previous Tiger Woods, they had that. Some new things here. You, you guys probably care about the new stuff. Um, the Ryder Cup. This is sort of something that's never been done before in the Tiger Woods one, uh, Tiger Woods games. Up to 24 players online in a tournament, and you can play couples, you can play best ball, you can play singles. And it's quite huge, and it's a lot of fun actually. It's a little time consuming, but uh, quite a lot of fun. Also, they have live weather, so it'll actually download uh, live weather from the various locations that you play, and it'll actually be uh, the real time weather that's being experienced there, which is kind of cool. I'm not too sure how it works at nighttime, <laughs> but uh, I actually haven't tried it at night. Um. They also have this true aim stuff. And true aim is sort of when you're doing a pitch or a drive. And instead of having your sort of designated circle, it will tell you the distance to a marker. And then you judge the shot from there. So it's sort of trying to get towards a more realistic way of playing golf. The camera is sometimes a little bit screwed up, like, like, like on that last putt. I was putting pretty critical moment, but I couldn't actually see where my ball was going. So, sort of the same sort of issues from the original uh, Tiger Woods. They also have this new thing called Focus. And Focus you can sort of use over time, and it's sort of get to get you power boosts, or to uh, sh take the circle that which you're aiming for, make it smaller so it's more precision, that kind of thing. Focus over time will deplete. But as you don't use it, your focus will continue to grow. So it's sort of you use it for critical plays, that kind of thing. The tee shot must be hit blind to a landing area that's only 28 yards wide. They give you the the briefing just like before, the actual uh, briefing of the, the shot here. You can still control where you hit the ball, so I'm going to hit it a little bit higher so it takes more air here. And they still got the power shots. Ooh, that was not very good. Oh, doggy. You can still customize your characters if you have an Xbox cam. You can put your face on it, or you can load your face onto EA and then download it onto your Xbox. They have this blog thing, which I really haven't checked out. Um, career mode, same thing. You can go through specific actual cups or you can just go through the actual PGA Tour and that will take you a quite a while to go through but still uh, a lot of fun I've turned off the tournament sort of environment right now because it's sort of annoying with the commentary and all that I'm not a huge fan of that with putting you can do the, the sort of precision putting here so I'll try it here I actually don't use this quite a lot. You can go into a preview putt just like before. And then we'll go forward and aft. So that was a precision putt. So, yeah. A lot of the sort of uh, good stuff from the previous uh, Tiger Woods are in this game. The new additions is the 24 uh, player online Ryder Cup, which is pretty cool. So it's two teams of 12. So either play for the States or Europe. The, um, the live weather. I don't know if they had it in the previous one. They still have the game, GamerNet challenges for people online. So you can get a precision shot or whatever. Let's see if I can try to get this one. Probably not. But I'll try. No. Unless I get a lucky bounce. Nope. 
Ooh. You still have the skill challenges. So you can go and uh, sort of main names and golf will sort of have their own skill challenges and you'll gain XP. In this game you have XP and you can allot it to certain things. Like in the previous ones you would practice a certain thing like pitching and you would get better at pitching. Well here you gain XP and then you decide where you want to put it. Do you want to have further drives? Do you want to have more uh, precision on your uh, putts? That kind of thing. So you decide where you put it instead of having to practice the same thing over and over again. So that's kind of a neat sort of little change. So I've always liked the Tiger Woods series. Um, it's been fun. Especially if you get a group of people over, some friends over, it's always a good time. People just seem to get into it, no problem. Uh, playing it by yourself kind of gets boring because it's isn't the same thing, just hitting a ball around. and It's not like you're really hitting it for real. So if you're into the Tiger Woods series, I would say there's definitely some new stuff here that you might appreciate. Some of the old problems still uh, arise, but that's just common with the the Tiger Woods series. That's just the way it goes. So that is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11. Uh, it's in stores now. It's not bad. Um, if you were into the previous ones, I would definitely pick it up. And if you're sort of just interested, maybe rent it. I don't know, it's not a bad game. It's not that bad. You have to be into golf, though, obviously. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. That's yellowdingy.com.